You've talked about um, your main challenger who has since pulled out of the race, Raila Odinga, asking his supporters to stay away. And that may prescribe a situation where millions of Kenyans do not vote. How do you think this will affect the legitimacy of Thursday's election? I, I, I don't believe uh, it will affect the legitimacy in any way. I continue to, as he continues to call for people not to vote, which again is their democratic right, mm -hmm. which again, even in a constituency, if you record zero vote, yeah? So long as the returning officer says nobody participated, that is a Kenyan exercising the democratic right. And so you're confident you'll meet the constitutional threshold in terms of representation from the requisite uh, counties? We already, already have reached the threshold. If you look at the representation that we have in the National Assembly, if you look at the representation we have in the Senate, if you look at the representation that we have in terms of governors, if you look at the representation we have in women rep, if you look at the representation that we have in governors, mm -hmm. And I believe Kenyans are tired. Kenyans want to move forward. They want to be over this election so that they can get about their daily business, right? Mm -hmm. And um, it is unfortunate, without a doubt, that my colleague has chosen not to participate in this election after spending huge amounts of resources after he petitioned and was granted by the Supreme Court the right to a repeat election. Mm -hmm. And after all of us as Kenyans spending huge amounts of money mm -hmm. to prepare for this repeat election. But despite that, it is still his constitutional right not to participate. And all we're asking is don't interfere with the constitutional right of those who wish to participate, mm -hmm. right? So to vote and to vote our rights that are enshrined, you know, for all. Those who don't wish to participate, they're making their statement. Those who do participate are also making their statement.